What are the green estates, the actual color green, of the United States? I explored this by looking at average greenness from Landsat satellite imagery. Details on methods are in the video description text. Here is my map of greenness over the lower 48 states. You can see that the New England states are very green. Uh, there's low greenness in the interior west and uh, some very green parts of the Pacific Northwest. So now looking at regular color imagery, you can see that greenness in much of the east, especially in the northeast. Let's zoom into there. Uh, the three greenest states in this analysis are Maine, Vermont, and New Hampshire. And I'll show all the rankings at the end of the video. Um, so the greenest state of Maine, let's zoom into the middle of the state here. You can see these beautiful uh, green forests of Maine uh, with some timber harvesting patterns seen here. So let's zoom out all the way again. This time let's zoom into the southwest. Um, these are the least green states and the state of Arizona comes in as the least green. If you zoom into the Phoenix area here, you can see that really the only green areas are these areas of uh, irrigation for agriculture and golf courses. But outside of those, uh, very little green in this desert arid region. So you might ask if forest cover is a good predictor of state greenness as seen in the satellites. This plot shows the relation between greenness on the vertical axis and the proportion of forest cover on the horizontal axis. And indeed, we can see those New England states having the, uh, being the most green and being the most forested. And there's a lot more scatter in this relation at lower forest covers, which mostly divides out the less green southwestern states and the more green midwestern states, despite having similar forest cover. So looking back at Arizona again, if we uh, zoom out and pan to the north, we do get into regions of pretty decent forest cover. But um, these forests, as well as most of the forests in the western US, are coniferous forests. If we look at how different vegetation types reflect light, you can see that um, for all types, they reflect uh, relatively little light at uh, blue wavelengths, uh, as well as at the red wavelengths, and all reflect more at green wavelengths, which is why vegetation looks green to us. Uh, the deciduous forests, which are more dominant in the east, are greener than those of coniferous forests, with grasslands falling in between. The uh, longer wavelengths are in the near infrared part of the spectrum. Uh, that is a good region uh, of the spectrum for uh, discriminating between different vegetation types, but in this analysis we're kind of looking at the uh, visible part of the spectrum. So here we are back on our map showing the coniferous forest in Arizona. Let's zoom all the way out again and this time zoom into the uh, Midwest. Uh, let's start in southern Illinois and here you can see these uh, these nice green forests of the Midwest um, but that you can also see the other thing that's adding um, a lot of green in the Midwestern states which is agriculture. Okay zooming out one more time here let's look at the uh, state rankings for greenness. Uh, the top three are the New England states, uh, bottom three are in the Pacific are in the southwest US. Uh, it goes up to 51 here because the District of Columbia was included in this analysis. Uh, so in the west, the greenest state is Washington state, uh, the evergreen state. It is the greenest uh, because of the very green, wet uh, Pacific Northwest coast. Uh, but it also has a lot of low green areas in the dry interior where there's a strong rain shadow effect. And if you're wondering about Hawaii, it did have some of the highest greenness areas, but also a lot of low greenness on the dry, rain shadowed sides of the islands, as well as sparsely vegetated uh, volcanic areas. So thanks for watching. If green is your favorite color, Maine might be the state for you.